Okay, so this is part 21 of the Not So Berry Challenge Pink Generation, and we are in a different place right now. Um, this is Azalea's house that she um, lives here with Omar and Dana, his, her fiance and her child. So in the last part, uh, this is where um, the rest of the berries live. Um, so in the last part, Linnea got left at the altar. She had a big wedding planned for Winterfest and it didn't exactly work out. Kareem left her at the altar. He has moved out since then. He no longer lives there. And now I figured it's time for Azalea to have her wedding. Um, it's kind of sad because it is taking place the day after um, that horrible event. <laughs> so it's going to be difficult, I think, for Linnea to come to this wedding. Uh, it's planned for 10 a.m. I really don't know for sure if everyone's going to even show up. Um, it's hard to say, but we're waiting. She invited Linnea, she invited, um, her nieces and her nephew, and I really have no idea who's going to show up, but I really wanted Azalea to get married. She's not having a very big wedding though. Oh, there's, that's Linnea right there. You better come over. You better. You can't miss, oh, that's Pesca. Never mind. She's supposed to be coming too. She is wearing formal wear, so she must be like on her way. Um, anyway, so... I'm paranoid that no one's going to come to her wedding, is what I'm saying. Uh, so they're going to have like just a little backyard wedding. It is raining, unfortunately. I've been having really bad luck with um, weather, <laughs> bad weather days uh, on wedding days. And uh, now we're just kind of waiting to see if if anyone's going to come. Uh, I think this guy's invited. I don't know who he is, but I did invite him. So uh, hopefully he'll come. Looks like Pesca's coming. Uh, I... I'm a little upset because Linnea is not here. I know it would probably be hard for her to come, but like, it's your sister's wedding. You have to come. Send her a happy text. Put her in a good mood. There. Oh, she does not. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. She does not want to be coming to this wedding. Also, she's wearing her wedding dress. She's making a statement that she's not pleased about this. Um, yeah, I gotta get a bunch of screenshots, cause like, oh, she's so mad. But I mean, like, uh, I kind of understand why. It's the day after she got left at the altar. Now she's gotta come to her sister's wedding. Her entrance! She's just tromping around, she's mad. She's giving herself a little pep, pep talk. Are you fighting with your fiance? It's the day of your wedding. Don't fight. Oh, that was cute. Pesca just hugged Dana. That was so cute. Okay, let's uh, let's get married. I'm sorry, Linnea, but why are you fighting? They they're like they get along pretty well. I don't know why they're fighting right now. Everybody better come and like watch. Dana, you go watch. She's really cute. Nobody's coming. Come on, Linnea. Quit talking to yourself. She's like giving herself a pep talk. Like. Okay, good. She's coming. Oh, they're doing the weird dance thing. He's got an umbrella. Don't be such a diva. He is a diva. He's He doesn't need to have an umbrella. Let's see what everyone else is up to. Linnea isn't even committed to le like coming outside and physically attending. So she's going to watch through the window, I guess. Also, um, I think Azalea is pregnant right now? I don't remember. We'll find out. It's nice to finally see a finished wedding. <laughs> it was really upsetting last time. Okay, so these two are now married. Um, this, the stereo broke because it was out in the rain. Uh, let's replace it. Turn on some Latin pop, I guess. Why not? And let's go get her to take a test, because I don't- I think she is pregnant. Oh, she's just meeting her net, her niece? Okay. She's really upset. Let's brighten her day. Oh, she is- okay. So she is pregnant too. She really has it all. Um, let's get her to, um, can they like hug or something? See, hug lovingly. I mean, they're wearing the exact same wedding dress in different colors. Oh, she just told Omar about the baby. That's nice. 
That must have been very difficult for you. <laughs> um, she didn't take it lightly, that's for sure. Okay, so Azalea is now married. That's really all I wanted to do. I just wanted to have a little wedding for her. I do feel bad that Linnea had to attend, but um, it's over now, so that's good. So we will head back over um, to Linnea's house. Okay, so we're back at Linnea's house. Uh, she just walked up the driveway, and now she's about to go ahead and kick this garbage can. There we go. Do you feel better? I, I, I doubt you feel better. Okay, pick it up now. She is really in a bad mood. Um, she got left at the altar yesterday, and then today she had to go to her sister's wedding and then find out that her sister's having a baby. She's getting everything she ever wanted, and Linnea is still can't find anybody. Oh, I was supposed to take down these decorations. Okay, I'll do that. Um, it was just this, 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 and then I think... Oh, oh whoa. Let's move that over here. Um, was that all? Oh, the cards. There we go. Okay, so um, let's go... Um, we can sell all of these. I just feel so bad for her. She's going to be in a bad mood for a long time. She could write an angry book, though. Um, she's never been this mad before, like, she's never been screwed this badly before, I guess. Make friends. Yeah, the kids are all making friends at school. Pesca came home from the wedding and then went to school right away. Um, so she's gonna do that, and then I think you should change out of this. I think you're done being dramatic now. Um, let's evolve this. Water everything. Poor girl. Okay, uh, is this still good to eat? Oh, I guess it is. Okay. Go grab a serving of that. And I guess tomorrow is New Year's Eve. Um, another depressing day for single sims. Uh, <laughs> she's got nobody to kiss at midnight. I think what we need to do is get her to do some yoga. She, uh, she needs to kind of mellow out a little bit. And I think some yoga would probably help with that. And, oh, Persica's grades are down. That's not good. Okay, let's get Pesca to do her homework. Oh, she has an easel. I think we're going to sell the easel. Um, Persica, you need to do your homework, too, because you don't... Yeah. And who's calling? Oh, nobody. Okay, that's fine. Um, so, yeah, she's going to do her yoga. The girls are going to do their homework. Miro, oh, he's doing his homework, too. So, I'm going to... The dog needs a bath, of course. He looks pretty okay right now. I'm gonna put this in the garbage. Um, I also said I wanted Pesca to start dating Quincy, um, her friend that she met at the park that one day. Um, so let's chat with Quincy. Um, she's supposed to, in the challenge, she has to marry a co-worker. So I don't know if like it'll actually work out with him or not, but if it does, um, that wouldn't be the person she would end up with because he, uh, he doesn't work with her. Or maybe he will eventually, but right now he doesn't. And then, um, so with Linnea right now, I'm trying to focus on getting her wellness skill to level 10. So I think if she does a little bit every day for the next three days or whenever, however much time we have until the girls age up, then I think we should be able to get her there. Her needs are pretty good. It's just her mood that's suffering right now. She's super angry. Uh, Miro, you can get some leftovers too. Pesca, um... Yeah, she's doing her homework, and she's going to call Quincy, and then she can also get some leftovers. And where are we with the wellness skill? 22%. Okay, she can keep going for just a little bit. And she's going to call Quincy. I just, want, I just don't want them to, like, forget about each other. If you don't, if you stop talking to somebody, then they fall out of your, like, contacts, I guess, and then you don't even know who they are anymore. And I don't want that to happen. Um, Persica, I don't really know what she could do. She could fix this, uh, put the laundry away. I guess the maid does most of our laundry, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, Linnea, she can just keep doing yoga, I think. It seems to be working out. She will need a bath after this, but that's all right. Um, so Pesca, I want her to keep calling Quincy. I was going to invite him over. I guess we still could invite him over. Um, yeah, we'll probably do that. Let's get her to go to the washroom. For some reason, it's taking a really long time for them to eat. Sometimes. And then it, it also 
The bar doesn't even go up. Oh, now it is. After I mention it, it starts working. Oh, why don't you stop eating? You're not even full. Okay, let's let, get Linnea to have a shower now. Um, take a shower and then maybe do some writing. Whoa! Any book she wants to write is going to be an angry book. Let's do an angry mystery. My dog is dreaming and growling in his sleep. Okay, so yeah, I want her. I wanted her to finish that, and for some reason, she just decided to pick up the phone and stop eating. So that's what she's doing. Um, if someone takes over the computer, I will sim punch them. Okay, how do I sim punch you? Go away. I want again. I will. I want to punish you. Uh, let's see what. How go, you can go sit down. Just go sit. Get out of here. This is Linnea's computer. I don't want anybody on it. Um, she's gonna write. Actually, how about an angry biography? I think she's gonna try to angrily express how sad her life is. There we go. Okay, so hopefully that'll be a bestseller. I really don't know. I think it does help if you're in a certain mood. Um, Persica, I'm just gonna make her go to bed because she has annoyed me too much. Uh, sleep. Pesca, uh, she's eating at least. And we got a bunch of dog hair everywhere. Let's clean all that up. There we go. Okay. And then you can call Quincy again. I was going to have him come over, but it's getting kind of late. She's not tired or anything, but they can just chat on the phone. That's what teens do. Um, Linnea's going to keep writing. How long is she going to be angry about this for? Ten more hours. So she'll stop being very angry in ten hours. She's still really mad at Kareem. What's the relationship there? Um, he's dead to her? I can't even find... Oh, there he is. She's actually not even that mad. Uh, I'm surprised. They're still considered lovebirds. That's interesting. I would not describe it like that. Okay, let's get her to go to bed. Um, Pesca, I guess she can go to bed too. She's done talking to Quincy now. Um, whether or not like her and Quincy actually ended up together, I was just thinking it'd be nice for her to have a boyfriend. Um, that was the plan, but I don't know now. Uh, so Pesca ages up in two days. So it probably won't be in this part. It'll be in the next part. Uh, but that's okay because I'm just excited for her to move out. Now we have to think of where we want Pesca to live. Um, in the challenge rules, it says that she has to live in a different world than the one she was raised in. So we could go to Willow Creek, um, Windenburg, Newcrest, Brindleton Bay, or... I forgot the other one. Uh, I don't know where I want her to go. Um, maybe, maybe Willow Creek? Uh, oh, Pesca's awake. Or Persica is awake. Okay, um... Oh, it's a dumb dog. That's what's going on. Can we, like, tell the dog to shut up? Lecture about waking up. I like how they just clap at the dog like it should know what that means. Oh, Coral has learned not to wake up Sim. Well, good. I'm glad. Uh, and then Linnea, um... She's probably gonna go and interrupt Miro's shower. That's what, that's what I'm projecting. They just take too long. Night on the town. Yeah, we won't be celebrating that, I don't think. Take a cold shower. And then she should probably go eat something. Oh, this poor girl. Um, is anything in her garden ready? Oh, I guess we could sell all. Everything looks pretty watered, though, so we're good there. I am playing a little bit faster this time because I'm hoping to at least age the teens up in this part I don't well maybe not it, it'll probably be next part but I am playing a little bit faster now because um, I'm averaging about 20 parts per generation and so anything after this part is a little bit more than I wanted to do um, yeah it's not gonna be like the other ones where there's 80 parts per generation I just can't I can't get on board with that you guys all need to go to school oh she's uncomfortable what did I just eat oh yeah fruitcake wouldn't recommend. 
Okay, so she sold all that. Oh, that's broken. Okay, I'm just gonna pay to replace that. It's not very expensive anyway. And get some leftovers. Um, children, go to school, please. Like, why won't they just go to school? Why is it a fight every single day? Uh, make friends, make friends, make friends. She's gonna eat. And let's see, can she chat with someone on the phone and eat? Let's try to force things to work out with Lane. I wish he wasn't such a jerk. I actually don't think we can even, I'm gonna cancel Night on the Town because I don't really care. Night on the Town was awful. <laughs> Uh, and then Pesca, is she even close to getting an A? Not really. I don't think it's going to happen. I really don't. I mean, we can try, but, well, no. Today's her last day of school, technically, because she's going to be working, or working, she's going to be aging up, um, basically on the weekend. Just keep talking to Lane, just keep chatting with him. Um, there we go. There it is. <laughs> Uh, oh, I think we finished our milestone. We did, so we got... Oh, Genji Sasaki has passed away. Oh, we just saw him at, Lin at Azalea's wedding. Um, wait, hold on a minute. We got screwed. We used to have one out of three bestsellers, and now we have zero. That makes no sense. They can't take it away from me. Um, I guess we'll just keep writing our book. That's stupid, I had one. Okay, well, at least we have earned 25000 in royalties. So we've got 17000 saved up for Pesca. Um, that's going to go directly to her when she moves out. Um, anything that we make between now and the time that Pesca moves out, she'll take with her. Um, so I guess we're starting over with the whole bestseller thing. And now she's sad because her friend Genji has passed away. You know what, you barely even knew Grungy or whatever his, his name was. I think she just met him yesterday. Oh my god, you're a mess of emotions, seriously. Also, I can't forget all the heirlooms for Pesca when she moves out. Um, I really don't want to forget anything. And I have to decide if Linnea's is going to be her... I guess it could, it could be the bulletin board. It could be her collection or it could be her yoga mat. I really don't know what I should do. Are you done writing? Good. Okay. That one went on the bestseller list. Uh, oh wait, no, actually. Let's just write another one, I think. Uh, let's do a biography. I think they work out better if you're in a certain mood, but that's okay. And then every everyone will be home from school in like an hour. I don't think we're gonna have time to complete all of to complete Linnea's uh, stuff because she still has to get her wellness skill to level ten, as well as get two more bestseller books. Um, I don't think we're gonna have time to do all that and find her you know, the love of her life or whatever. So that might have to be something that happens after Pesca moves out. That's what I'm starting to think. Oh wait, she was gonna invite Quincy over. I should have done that. Oh well. Uh, go take a shower. Uh, you can go watch TV. And he can go play dolls. Who is owning? I don't care about the principal. You know what? The principal does not take this much time out of his day to phone the students who don't have good grades. That's really frustrating. Uh, and then when she's done that, she can just play Sims Forever. I don't understand. Does that mean that that's the game? Sims Forever? Like, it's one, two, three, four, and then it just goes to forever? Because I'm not... Like, that's great. Watch current channel. These dogs always need baths. Make happy. Uh, my principal called to say that my school performance is pretty shaky. That's fine. I'm alright with that. Wow, she's just having a rough week. She's crying again. She's so sad. Okay, wait. I, I wanted to get a picture of her crying because, you know, that's just, that's what I need. Oh, why? Sometimes the camera seizes up and it's really frustrating. No, it's not gonna work. Yeah, it seizes up and then you can't you can't turn around. Okay, you're almost done. You're gonna make it. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna write a good book. 
Um, Pasca, I think you have to make some food. Um, cook gourmet meal and the dog wants a walk. Jeez. Let's make some salmon, party size. And Prosecca, um, she should probably go take a shower. Did she write her book yet? I think she's done. We want a bestseller. Come on. Oh, we didn't get a bestseller. This might be harder than I thought. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I might have to take some time to do the whole bestseller thing off camera because I don't know what to do to make sure that it's a bestseller. I think it's just chance. Although being in a certain mood might help. Like being focused or inspired, I think would help. Especially inspired. Um, I'm going to get her to go to the washroom and then she can come and eat whatever Pest is making. She's got a big booty. <laughs> she really does. Okay, so the food is done. Um, come and grab some of that. Uh, Persica. Oh, she's already coming. Okay, Miro. Grab some. Everybody eat. And then I think we should get Linnea to do some more yoga because... Um, yeah, 29% isn't great. Her sister was calling, but I think she just gave up. Like, just, just, no. Um, I hear they have one of those bubble blowers at the Spice Festival. Do you want to come with me and try it out? First of all, you're pregnant. You shouldn't be blowing bubbles. Second of all, um, no. I do not want to go out anywhere. <laughs> She is super sad. She's going to be sad for two days as well. That's a long time. Uh, go practice some yoga. She's going to watch TV. Persica, uh, let's put this here. Um, maybe do your homework? I don't know. I don't really care at this point. It's not like she, her grades are ever going to get better. She's kind of screwed. Um, and also, Pesta's not going to be an A student. We'll have to settle for B. I think that's, that's as good as it's going to get. I'll take it. Like, how are you finding trouble getting a man? Like, this, that's a great body you have right there, but it's, it's just still not enough. Uh, checking on her wellness. Well, I'm watching it go up. It's going to be a bit, pretty slow one. The last skill level always takes the longest to build. Uh, oh, Mira went to bed. Okay, Persica, um, she's almost done her homework. She can go to bed. Pesca, you should probably go to bed, too. And Linnea, pretty soon. Just want to work on the, the wellness a little more. Um, because I think after this, we have one more day until Pesca ages up. And that kind of sucks, because I wanted her to move out right away. And now she can't. So that is unfortunate. Okay, you should go to bed now. Um, the wellness scale isn't going to take that long. I'm really not worried about that. We can build that up in a day. It's the whole bestseller thing that I'm worried about because I'm starting to think it's not going to happen. <laughs> or, well, it will eventually, but not in the time that I want it to because now, um, technically their birthday is tomorrow. So, yeah, Sunday is going to be their birthday. And that's not much time. That is not much time at all. But that's, that's okay. I can still... Um, she can still work on her aspiration from here. Like, we can get her to get in the detective career and stuff. Oh, don't. Okay, lecture about waking up. Use the washroom and sleep. A selfie! She got out of bed at 3.48 a.m. because the dog woke her up. And she decided that was a really good opportunity for a selfie. Okay, like, stop freezing up. Just... Just flow nicely. That's what I want. Just a nice... Yeah, there we go. Flowing a lot better. Um, so, Linnea is going to be in bed for a while. I wish she slept better in this bed. I should probably get her a more expensive bed. Oh, wait. I only have like a few days left here. There's really no point. Okay, let's get her up. New Year's Eve. Another depressing holidays among us. Um, Persica, if you take over the bathroom, uh, so help me. Just sit down. Don't be annoying. Just sit down. Okay, Linnea is going to get some food after this. And, uh, oh, it's Saturday. So, yeah, today's a free-for-all. The kids can do whatever they want. I don't care. My only concern is Linnea and all the stuff she has to do. So, 
Yeah, take that shower. Who's crying? Are you still crying? Oh, you're... You know what? You really need to get over this whole clingy thing. Like, you can't just hang out in the bathroom. She's crying in the shower. Like, wait, can I get a screenshot of that? Do you mind if I come in? I created you. I should be able to come in. <laughs> This is so sad. I don't know how I'm going to get a screenshot of this. It's all blurry. Ah, oh, damn. I really wanted a screenshot of her crying in the shower. Um, I mean, like, there's that big block right there, but that's okay. Wait, maybe she just has a sad face right now. Because I'll take that. I'll take a sad face. That's fine. Whoa, whoa, I'm sorry. I'm up in your business right now. Is that your face? Oh, it's, it's, it's a pretty small area in here. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's not going to work. There's not enough room for two in that shower. So once she's done that, we can get her to get some food. Um, oh, there's some grilled fruit. Good, that good. Gosh, I think she would appreciate that meal. Are you coming? Okay, to stop crying in the shower now. You've got to get it together. Now she's upset because she's wearing dirty clothing and her surroundings are filthy. And her privacy was invaded. She is uncomfortable, embarrassed, and sad. Oh, really upsetting. Um, can we chat with Lane in the meantime? Like, I'm still hung up on him. Even though he's horrible. Um, Pesca, let's get her to chat with Quincy. Chat, chat. I, I kind of have to give up on him because she's going to be a, a young adult tomorrow and he's going to be a teen for a while, so they can't actually date. There's no point in even trying. Okay, let's go get her to... I don't know how to put her in a better mood. Like, she is just so upset. Um, just stop doing everything. Uh, let's go and sell all this? Oh, we can't even garden? Oh my god. Just come outside. You'll probably instantly feel better. Okay, you guys need to clean the house because she's like just super upset. Clean up, clean up. Um, put away, I guess. Clean out. Okay, so we got 3500 bucks. So we're at 20000 now for um, Pesca, which is good. Can we, can we sell these now? I think we can. So she's still uncomfortable, but she's not very uncomfortable. And can anything be like evolved? No, that's pretty much it. Okay, I don't even think she can write. We'll try. Um, oh, looks like she can. Okay, let's do a mystery. Or maybe what we could do is get her one of these drinks. Um, we'll get the inspired one. Okay, hold on. Let's see if she can drink this and it'll change her mood. I rarely ever use these, but that's okay. It's gotten to the point where she needs mood-altering drugs <laughs> in order to feel better. There you go. That should cure what ails you. Um, I think what I want her to do is actually publish her other books now. I think she has two that we could do. So go publish those. They're both, they've got the same title. Um, but that's okay, we'll try both. Please hurry up because you're only going to be very inspired for three hours and we need to use that time to write. Um, Blight. We're writing a book called Blight. Okay, so she published her other two books. Good. Come and do this. We don't have much time left in this part, so I really want her to... I want to see if we can get this to be a bestseller. Um, I kind of doubt it. Okay, go away. Leave her alone. It's crunch time. We're trying to do this in time for your birthday. Just go away. <laughs> just get rid of her. Okay, so I think I'll, what I'll do is just leave this part right here. And um, I'll finish writing this book off camera, and then the next part, um, we will have the birthdays for Pesca and Persica. Thanks for watching.